Hello guys, my name is Dave. Uh, this is my brand new YouTube channel uh, called All Things Angling. Uh, I'm a bit nervous. This is my first time on camera really discussing topics of fishing. Um, so, welcome to the channel. Uh, I guess I'd like to start with a small intro. Uh, I've been fishing here in western New York for about 40 years. Um, mostly, pretty much all those years. Uh, creeks, rivers, ponds, uh, spillways, small bodies of water. But in the last seven years, I've um, gotten into boating. So I've been able to get out on the lakes. And boy, has that hit been an, an eye-opener. In the first couple of years, I did struggle. Um, I had quite a few days uh, where I got skunked. I didn't catch anything. But, um, yeah, you know, I, I've been around. I, I've been fortunate to come across some people who took me out fishing and pointed out some things to me and got me familiar with how to fish on these bigger bodies of water. Um, so having said that, what I want to talk about first is, uh, the time of year it is. This is the first, at the end of the first week of March. Uh, and so pike season and trout season are coming. Today we're going to talk about pike. And a lot of guys, they like to do their top five baits for pike. I personally would rather talk about, uh, sorry, I'd rather talk about uh, the types of bait and the tactics for each one of them, uh, simply because you never know the weather conditions that you're going to face um, or where these fish are located, um, but we'll get into that. So, typically, when I go pike fishing, I like to start out with a search bait. Um, and, well, let me back up a little bit. The, the pike will not, they, they typically uh, spawn when ice out happens. And, and this year, we haven't had the lakes freeze over. Uh, the spawn may actually happen early this year. And typically after they spawn, they they recoup for a little bit. They don't just instantly start feeding up. Um, I believe they do go back to deeper water until these bait fish start to push shallow. Which all has to do with daylight hours, uh, warming trends, um, zooplankton, things, uh, vegetation... Things that will attract small bait fish. Okay, so basically, yeah, with, with a search bait, I like to start shallow. Especially if you have a sunny day and there's been a warming trend. Um, so starting shallow, searching for pike. I like to throw inline spinners like a number five MEPS. There's a double blade. It's a number three maps. Half ounce spinner bait. I don't know if you guys can see that. Half ounce spinner bait. Double willow. That's a Terminator half ounce. This is a Booyah Chartreuse spinner bait. Those are good search baits. Uh, yes, and I can't forget. A bucktail inline spinner. That's a three-quarter ounce. It's uh, made by Blue Fox. Um, reds and yellows, from what I know, they, they do like. And it'll tell you a lot about colors as well as far as what they're looking for. Um, especially when I get into this next lure. Okay, where the colors will change a little bit. 
And th these can determine what you're going to fish for the rest of the day. So I have a forage minnow and perch. This is a crocodile, I believe. Yeah, crocodile. I believe that's a 5 8 or 3 quarter. A little chrome. Something a little more flashy. Pink and green. That's a dream weaver. That's a three quarter ounce. And a long time maker. The daredevil. That's a one ounce. Now don't go out. If you're going to buy a red and white spoon, don't go out and buy any old red and white spoon. They're just not the same. They don't cast the same. They don't retrieve the same. Um, the, the movement on these is unique to itself. So they're highly successful uh, for pike fishing. Okay, other search baits I have. Looking at, uh, I believe this is a 3.8 jig head. 3.75 Rage tail swimmer, green and white. Here's an alewife. We have a lot of alewives up here. We have a lot of silvery minnows up here. Alewives, we have smelt, we have um, shiners, shad, uh, suckers. We have a lot of silvery type or white minnows, okay? There's another half ounce white. And then this bit here, I did myself. It's a Berkeley 5 inch swim bait. I don't know if you can see on the bottom there. There's a little eye. You can put a treble hook or a little spin, spin blade and create an underspin. But this has a half inch preformed. Uh, lead weight lead lead weighted hook which on the top i cut open with a razor stuck it in there and glued it in so and you don't have to make a big slit either you can see right behind the hook there's the hook bend about a three eighths long cut and just slide it in there glue it back up so those are my swim baits. The other things I wanted to talk about for pike fishing this year. And this is probably one of my favorite, uh, if not my favorite type of baits to use for pike. Are the hard baits. And I'll start shallow. This is a jointed Rapala. Which only goes down to two feet. But if you split shot it. Or maybe put like say a, um, a barrel swivel with a um, quarter ounce bell weight on there. It, it'll go down four feet. You can get it down. And what I like about that bait is without the weight on it. It'll go down two feet. You can stop. You stop your retrieve and it'll rise back up to the surface. And what that does, it, it creates little wakes on the surface and it, it just it really attracts the fish. You can also work it as a jerk bait um, to make it look like a dying fish, um, a dying bait fish. So we have two different types of bombers. These are five inch bombers. Okay, one is a translucent, gives off a little more flash. Okay, you know, those go down to six feet. I have a nine, a nine foot deep diver uh, jerk bait. I don't know if you can see, it's got a little bit of a blue shimmer on there. This is a great lure, I love it. And a, a gray back, which really imitates alewife. And I got one that's pure chrome. It's a, um, oh. I can't think of the name right now. Live, uh, 
<laughs> I can't remember. Anyways, you know the name brand. Okay, so we, we're covering several depths of water. We got nine foot, six foot, and then our shallow uh, jointed Rapala under four feet. Okay, but for the deeper water, you know, in those days when it's cloudy and maybe the bait fish haven't quite moved up yet, they're not dirt shallow, they're just kind of out there on the edge of a, a ledge or in deeper water. I have some other deeper baits. Now you can cast these, depending on how far out you get them, they'll run anywhere from 8 to 15 feet. Um, but you can troll. This is another great way to search. You can troll with these. Um, and one is a perch tail dancer. That'll go down 20 feet at about 120 feet of line out. Um, and the same with this one. It's just a little bit bigger profile. Not as bright um, of a color on it, but it is a perch imitator. So, yeah, so uh, weather depending, I think here in the next few weeks, maybe the first week of April, we may get out on, on the big water and, and um, get out there and see what these pike are doing. Typically, they're active between 39 and 70 degrees of, of water temperature. So... We'll see what the water temperature is. We'll see what the weather is. Um, obviously, they're going to be easier to catch uh, if there's bait up a little bit shallower. Um, but never discount the points either. A lot of bait fish will hang on the points. Um, so, it, you know, just like any other species of fish that you're targeting, um, and sometimes it is an experiment. It's a, it's a search for where they are, what they're doing. Um, and a lot of it is weather dependent, especially at this time of year when you're going through a transition with warming patterns, cooling patterns, wind, you know, you, there's a lot of factors involved. Um, so, oh yeah, I had a couple other things. There's an underspin for you. That's a half ounce Davis uh, with a um, oh, <laughs> excuse me, guys. I'm trying to read. Yeah, it's got a yeah, it's a, got a mustad hook on it anyway. So, yeah, it's, it's a Davis bait with an underspin, half ounce. You put a swim bait trailer on there. And then uh, I have some um, swim jigs. Okay, that's a half ounce brown and black. And then I have a quarter ounce. Green pumpkin and orange. So those are, are really handy. Um, other than that, I don't have a whole lot to say. I am a multi-species fisherman. What's going to be different this year is um, I'm actually going to go out and target specific fish. I'm not going out for pike in, you know hope I catch one um, or I'm not going bass fishing hoping that I catch a pike and put it on video uh, I'm truly going to go out and target these specific species of fish so the other thing too is trout season is upon us it has been if you live in the buffalo area the trout fishing there has been phenomenal these guys are whacking steelhead the one guy I follow, he's catching 17, 20 fish every time he goes out. And I'm not talking little dinks, big ones. So here, here in Rochester, where I'm located, uh, there's a lot of tributaries. There's a lot of places to go trout fishing. 
I have yet to figure out um, how these fish are moving or when they're moving. Um, but it, trout fishing really is, is going to be simple. It's going to be a jig, eggs, or maybe a spinner, you know, or maybe a soft plastic twister or a small tube. Um, but that's it for another time. That's probably going to be closer to April. I may get out here in the next couple of weeks and, and try to do a little trout fishing, see what's going on. Um, not the, the trout don't always run up in these creeks, um, or off the lake every year. Some, some years they don't come up there. Um, I, I don't know why that is. I know that the alewife population is depleting, but there's other places you can go and they're just loaded. So we're, we're going to have to see what happens here. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching my very first video. I appreciate you guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, if there's anything that you'd like to discuss or anything that, uh, you want to hear about put it in the comments you know i appreciate comments also i have a brand new facebook page called uh all things angling so please come on over join the facebook group and you can post anything memes uh fishing videos uh if you have um tackle talk that you want to you know, post on there. Anything you want. As long as it's decent, guys. Okay? Let's keep it uh, PG-13 anyway. So. But thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I'm I'm like you guys. I can't wait to get out on the water. I'm dying. I'm dying to go. So. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.